Hey everyone, so you just bought a new video doorbell and you found out that your transformer isn't powerful enough to run it. So, what is it? How do you replace it? All coming up after this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Two Hundred Families, where we do the research so you don't have to. And today we're going to be replacing a transformer. Um, this is going to be what runs your door chime, and a lot of the video doorbells require a more powerful one than what was installed on your home originally. So our home it was built um, about 20 years ago, and the voltage rating on it was um, only five to ten volts, and the requirements on most of the new video doorbells is 16 to 24 volts. So I went out on Amazon, bought one of these babies. Um, but one of the questions is that, hey, where, where is my transformer? You don't even know where it's at. And so the most common place is gonna be actually right behind your door chime, um, which on ours, it just has a simple cover that comes off. So what we actually need to do is pull these screws out and you'll see that the transformer is actually just right behind there. Other places it might be, it could be somewhere else in a wall. It could also be located inside or next to your breaker panel. So you wanna go check there if it's not behind your door um, chime right here. So what exactly is a power transformer and what does it do? So the wiring in your home, and it's actually most commonly 110 volts here in the US. And so that's gonna be too powerful for your video doorbell. So you need to actually step it down to a lower voltage. So that's what this is gonna do. And you're gonna wire in um, the connection that goes to the front door for your doorbell. It's gonna connect right here. So essentially just taking that high voltage and you're stepping it down to a much lower voltage. So before we dig into this here, what we need to do is we need to go down to the breaker box and we need to shut off the power just to avoid any electric shock. And what you might wanna do if you don't have one of these, you probably wanna go pick up one of these live circuit voltage detectors. And so when you power this on, it's gonna make a little beep. And then as you connect it to any kind of voltage, it's gonna beep and let you know that the power is still on. So what we're looking for is we're gonna shut the power off, or then we're gonna test the wiring, make sure it's off before we dig into this. All right, so it's a little bit dark in here because I had to shut the power off and it runs everything here in this room, but I got a light right here. Hopefully you can see this well enough. So now it looks like this is just low voltage coming in. I'm not getting any electricity being detected here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off and see what we have. All right, so just as this is coming out here, you can kind of see that you have your high voltage wires right here. And we're just gonna make sure and test this is your, this green one here is your ground, and this is your neutral and your hot wires here. So you just wanna make sure that you're not getting anything which everything's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these two wires off here, and that's the low voltage that goes out to your um, doorbell out to the front door right there. Then these high voltage wires here are what we're gonna disconnect, and then we're gonna swap out the power transformer for that slightly bigger one. All right, so when I'm connecting this, green's always gonna be your ground here. And then you're just gonna simply match up the colors for your neutral and your hot. And then we're just gonna use these wire nuts that were already on there to connect everything back. Okay, now we're just gonna push these wires back in here. And you want to give everything like a nice tug, make sure that the wires are seated in those wire nuts and that nothing's coming loose. This is a good time to mention a disclaimer that if you're not an electrician, you don't feel comfortable doing this, definitely don't take the risk and just hire a professional to take care of this for you. I'm just going to back off these screws. So these are your lower voltage. Um, it does not matter what connection goes so you can see sometimes one side might say a load and that would be the one that goes to your door chime here um, but in this case um, it doesn't matter which connection you connect it to so we're just gonna connect these both here I'm just gonna try to maneuver this into a good spot okay let's put our cover back on Let's go turn our power back on. We got power now. 
All right, everyone, so it was pretty quick and easy, but it's able to upgrade this transformer. Um, we've had the same issue with our ring and our UFI video doorbells. So you can see right here where most of these video doorbells require a 16 to 24 volt transformer. So we were able to upgrade the transformer without shocking ourselves, so that's a big plus. But um, for about 20 bucks on Amazon, we were able to get a new one of those, and now it'll power all of our video doorbells, and all of them were having trouble um, connecting just because of the low voltage. And so we do a lot of reviews. We wanted to get a good transformer transformer that was going to power all these so we can go through and test them. If you have any comments or any questions, definitely leave those below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. And that's it from Two Nerdy Families, and we'll see you next time.